If you're still paying for AI image generators, you're way behind the curve. But have no fear, the much-awaited Dolly 3 is finally here, and is completely free of charge. For those who don't know, Dolly 3 is the latest addition to OpenAI's groundbreaking AI system. This new release generates highly detailed and stunning images from text descriptions. Fair to say it's a significant upgrade from its predecessor, DALL-E 2, and the buzz it's created is entirely warranted. OpenAI have also made an interesting statement on the very nature of AI art tools. It needed to be said, and we'll cover that towards the end of the video. But for now, check out these images created in this new release. Why pay for text to image tools when you can produce stunning pieces like these? For nothing. We're going to show you how to create your own works of art, so stick around as we dive in and show you why this free AI tool is so special, and why it justifies all the fuss. Dolly 3 produces significantly better images than its predecessor. Images have far greater detail with sharper lighting and textures. But why has Doll E3 caused such a stir in the AI art world? There's plenty of other text to image tools out there, many of which produce stunning visuals. It's all down to its integration with ChatGPT. Previous releases were accessed separately, and you'd have to pay for them separately. But now, with Doll E3, OpenAI is allowing its users to get access through various new channels. First of all, if you're a subscriber of ChatGPT, then you can access DALL-E 3 via ChatGPT+. To do that, you need to sign up for a ChatGPT account and hover over GPT-4 at the top of the screen. And if you're a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, you'll see DALL-E 3 Beta from the downtown menu. Select that, and you can start using it just like you'd use GPT. Once you enter a prompt, it'll not only come up with four different images, but it'll also generate four different prompts, which is pretty cool. However, you have to have a GPT Plus subscription in order to get access in this way, and it'll cost you $20 per month as of now. But it does give you unlimited access to both ChatGPT's latest version and Dolly 3. Something to consider. But hey, we've got you folks. There are two other ways to use Dolly 3 completely free of charge. We know you budding artists are often strapped for cash, so check this out. This hack will get you free access. First option, search bing.com slash create, and that'll take you to Bing's image creator, which is totally powered by Doll E3. Some folk are still unable to access it, so to hack it thoroughly, remove all catch and cookies from your browsing engine and try again. You should be good to go. But if you access through Chrome or any browser other than Microsoft Edge, you'll have to log in to your Microsoft account to get access. Like most other AI art generators, it'll show you example images it can create. And if you click on an image, you'll find the prompt details used to make it. Interestingly, if you click on Customize, it'll open a new tab and take you to Microsoft Designer, where you can then make a design for a social media post using this image. This interface starts to open up new avenues, which is pretty hot if you're a content creator. But that's another video for another day. So getting back to Image Creator. Next to the search bar, you'll find 15 credits. Don't worry, this doesn't mean you can only generate 15 images for free. It just allows you to generate these images super quick. But when you run out of these credits, you can still generate images. They might just take a little longer. But hey, it's free. You can wait, right? You might notice under the Image Creator logo, it says, powered by Dolly 3, but does it really work like Dolly 3? And is it actually better than Dolly 2? Let's check it out. When you type in a prompt asking image creator to generate an image that has text in it, you'll find the four images it generates all have text in some form. And this very feature is one of the most important that Doll E3 possesses. So we're comfortable that the current version of Image Creator is indeed powered by Doll A3. But we like to be 100% certain on top AI tools, so let's try another way to test if it's truly Doll A3 or not. To do that, we'll first go to the Doll E3 intro page on OpenAI's website. Here they've uploaded different images generated using this cool AI tool. So we're going to click on one of these images and then copy its prompt and then paste it on Image Creator. As you can see, pretty much the same as what's shown on the OpenAI site. Of course, every prompt, whether it's the same or not, will generate a slightly different image. But it's pretty close, and that's enough for us to demonstrate that it's a legit and free way to doll a 3. Finally, let's see if Image Creator is better than Dolly 2. We'll paste this same prompt into Dolly 2. And as you can see, the quality here just ain't the same. We're satisfied you are. So the second free way to use Dolly 3 is by going to Bing Chat, where you'll need to choose creative mode, then type create this image followed by your prompt. Using the very same prompt we used earlier on Image Creator, you can see the output style is pretty much the same again. 
So by comparison, using Bing Chat or Image Creator for free, you're getting way better output than DAL A2. And it won't cost you a penny. Like most people, we're pretty hyped about this new release. DAL A3 is a significant improvement over its predecessor in terms of image quality, precision, and detail. It follows prompts much more closely, and you don't need to be a prompt engineer to get amazing images. And it can process in image text. A lot of boxes ticked as far as we're concerned. But how about another AI image generator like Midjourney? It's only fair to make a comparison, right? Taking any old prompt and typing it in both DAL E3 and Midjourney. Both come up with great images, no doubt. But what about giving them both a prompt where we ask for an image with text in it? As you can see, Midjourney doesn't have that in image text that we're looking for. But Dolly understood the assignment and delivered. Now let's cover the restrictions and that statement by OpenAI. This stuff's important, folks. AI art has been left unregulated for some time. And although artistic freedom is absolutely critical, some guidance is going to help everyone out there. Microsoft states that its image creator will prohibit content such as hate speech, bullying, harassment, and deceptive or inauthentic activities. And OpenAI has also stated that they're focusing on safety and security in this latest Dolly release. So violent, adult, and hateful content is not permitted. Interestingly, you can't create imitations of real people on Dolly 3. So if you type in a prompt on, say, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, or any other famous personality, you're unlikely to get any output. What you will get is a content warning stating that this prompt has been blocked. Heads up, don't waste your credits trying this out. And here's that statement from OpenAI. They're putting a stop to that long time and contentious issue of AI stealing art from traditional artists. This has been a hot topic for some time, and you might know that this discussion blew up when AI art generators were first released. Many traditional artists accused AI image generators of stealing their art and destroying their living. Using an AI image generator, regular folk could literally type in the name of any artist and ask it to generate different images in that exact style, then go and sell that artwork. But now OpenAI says that Doll E3 is designed to decline requests that ask for an image in the style of a living artist. Creators can now also opt their images out from training of our future image generation models. Discussion over. 